And we have news here courtesy of Bloomberg. News has been absolutely shaking up the social media feed for the best part of 24 hours. It has now been confirmed courtesy of Bloomberg news that a lot of us were basically um, aware of. I know I was because I keep my eye and, and my finger on the pulse when it comes to, you know, uh, startup news and all that malarkey was that OnlyFans were trying to pivot away from being a platform for sexually explicit content and they wanted to pivot into just being a place for content in general because they were trying to raise investment so obviously you know if you're trying to raise a round of investment usually you're trying to expand into other areas you're trying to maybe increase your employee base maybe expand into different territories but you just a growth thing and if you can afford to not spend your own money spending the money of your investors to grow is usually a fail safe way and if your founders have a um a dream of maybe exiting soon a best way to go and exit is to get someone to buy you out and then slowly but surely um pull away um give up responsibility let someone else take some of your um, role and maybe back away into an advisory board until you basically get bought out completely and you can go on your merry way so news courtesy of bloomberg confirmed says only fans to bar sexually specific videos starting in october so this is the following only fans is getting out of the pornography business starting in october the company will prohibit creators from posting material with sexually explicit content on its website which many sex workers use to sell fans explicit content they'll still be allowed to put up nude photos and videos and um, provided they're consistent with only fans policy the company said on thursday so they're being purposely vague about what the new policy is but they're saying you can still put content up there but it's not going to be the level it is now because now it's a basically it's a free-for-all people are basically making money hand over fist there's you know every other day there's a story of some new girl who especially nurses i remember at the beginning of the pandemic there's always a story about a nurse usually the nurse that kind of did those videos where they basically were trying to um expose the truth about the conditions in hospitals and how serious of a threat covid was and they'd film a video of them you know selfie cam walking around the hospital maybe showing the the, the marks on their face from having to wear a face mask for so long and then eventually they'd get fired for maybe gross misconduct or whatever it may be and then they'd kind of find a way over to only fans and suddenly they're making you know a hundred thousand dollars per week or whatever it may be yeah stupid amounts of money um really really quickly and it always seemed to me at the time that re regardless of it still attracting a very um committed sex worker base i'd say right P um, women who obviously um live and breathe or people that live and breathe in that field i still always had the impression that it was always a temporary gig it never felt like to me it was like a long-term thing that you could kind of bank to have a career on only fans it always felt like a cash grab if you were one someone that wasn't you know um, shy about kind of burying yourself on the only fans and doing whatever needed to be to make some money then you could um but then once you get that money the idea i thought would have been to invest that into real world stuff or to put it into businesses or to put it into housing or get a whatever do whatever you need to do so that you can get as much value from that short period of time that you're on that platform as possible like you know essentially buy a car get a house stuff that you might be able to do later on if you end up getting a normal job but i never thought of it as like a career as like a long-term career it just didn't make any sense because in general especially when you consider all the other platforms especially content platforms out there usually they always start off a little bit um you know, all, you know, anything goes, you can do whatever you want on that platform. They gain the attention needed. They get the market share. Um, they obviously generate a lot of income sales. Um, they make people millionaires. And then little by little, as they're trying to grow, the things that they allowed when they first started are then things that they're going to have to ban in order for them to reach a new audience or to kind of get the investment of these corporate companies that don't want to be associated with things that they feel is a little bit um, dark or a little bit illegal, or whatever it may be. Do you know I mean, that's why I always thought it was the case because you saw it happening with patreon patreon is the same thing patreon had all these really edgy guys on there i think of the count daculars i think of the sargon of Akkads. i think of even someone like a sam harris and shit talking about people's brain sizes right all this stuff those guys are on there making mount you know hundreds you know hundreds of thousands of dollars per month and shit and then suddenly little by little they all got knocked off of the platform because they were trying to obviously transition into whatever patreon is now at the moment so this was always on the cards i think if you were a girl or again if you're a sex worker on only fans i think you would be a bit naive to expect that this was going to last forever you should have basically made your money and cashed out i feel like they continue it says the popularity of social media service exploded during the pandemic as sex workers musicians and online influencers use it to charge fans of exclusive access to photos videos and other material only fans attracted more than 130 million users and it's so unique in it as a platform because if you think about it 
it's an e-commerce platform in some respects, but there's no browsing on OnlyFans. You don't browse unless somebody obviously has a profile where you can see stuff for free. But for the most part, there's no browsing. Any bit of content you want to check out, whether it's a written word, whether it's a piece of video, um, a, a, a picture of someone's lunch, you have to pay to see it. So I would imagine the average transaction or whatever that how you break it down it must be super high because everyone's buying they're not just browsing there is no putting into basket and thinking about where you're going to purchase it or not it's if you want to see this you have to pay if you want to read that you have to pay it's just amazing um it continues so the popularity also brought with it um additional scrutiny and only fans positioning itself more as a forum for musicians fitness instructions and, and chefs and sex workers while many of its most popular creators post videos of themselves engaging in sexual behavior several mainstream celebrities like Bella Thorne, Cardi B and Tiger have also set up accounts, but Tiger's posting his pee pee on there. That's when it leaks, isn't it? But I guess you would be, you'd be, you'd have to be furious. Again, I know what I'm saying, I think is right, but I still think if you're a sex worker and you feel like you help build that platform or you help build it to get to it, to help it to get where it is, you recommend it to all your friends. You've got a nice ecosystem there, great community that you've built up, um, a great way of working. You must feel really betrayed a little bit, right? Because essentially they're telling you to fuck off. And, you know, they're now trying to attract the attention of all these other people or the other content creators that wouldn't want to be seen associated with OnlyFans anytime, anytime soon. Because if you're not OnlyFans now, I don't see why suddenly them getting investment and pivoting to something else is going to make you get OnlyFans in the future. Right. I'd imagine if you're on it now, you're, not, you're never going to be on it. So it just feels a bit it feels like a bit of a, a slap in the face that they're not honoring the people that help to build the platform um, by maybe, you know, building something a skeleton program a skeleton app that they can kind of segue those guys off onto another platform or something i don't know it just feels a bit uh, a bit horrendous and also the timing it's only october which is what next month or a couple of months away do you know what i mean like and suddenly you have to you know essentially think about getting a job or looking at your career prospects because they've taken away a large place a large source of income for you um it continues says the changes are needed because the mounting pressure from the banking partners and the payment providers, according to the company, OnlyFans is trying to raise money from the outside investors at a valuation of more than one billion. See, now this is the one billion company. Do you remember? Do you remember before when people were trying to say Clubhouse was a four billion dollar company valuation wise before it was going to go on IPO? Now, obviously, they maybe kind of you know reevaluated things because I was using the app as much as before. But if OnlyFans is valued at a billion. How can you ever justify or legislate for flipping Clubhouse being valued at four? It doesn't make any sense, does it? It says it continues says in order to ensure the long term sustainability of our platform and continue to host an inclusive community for our creators and fans, we must evolve our content guidelines. The company is uh, run by its founder, Tim Stokely, and co owned by Leonid um, Radinsky, an internet entrepreneur. The company has been praised for giving sex workers a safe space um, to do their job, but sex work still has a stigma. The company handled more than two billion in sales last year and is on pace to generate more than double this year, already more than four from two Jesus Christ keeps um 20 percent of that figure only fans said it will still provide more guidance on its new policy later date the news disappointed some of the sex workers who've come to on to rely only fans it says here sylphie a 30 year old from dallas who declined to provide her real name began posting only fan a few years ago and relies on the site to pay her bills she's wrote a few blogs on the company in the early days and even spoke to stokely but over the past year she noticed the company shifting its focus away from sex work and more towards other types of online creators um aping the similar move to the company like patreon earlier this year only fans introduced a new app that features many of its top creators but doesn't include any nudity it says if you look at the pro promos they don't promote us at all i noticed a huge drop in them promoting people who did sex work which again makes sense but it's actually quite frightening the influence some of these payment providers have on stuff that we post on the internet right platforms websites and whatnot it's actually crazy because if you want to process payments if you want to accept payments if you want to pe allow people to cash out you're going to have to you know get in bed with one of these payment providers whether it's a visa or whatever else people use in order for, for you to make that work right if you're not willing to do the whole cryptocurrency blockchain thing you're gonna have to go the conventional route and these guys are basically the ones in charge of allowing you to basically have a business if without those payment providers without those payment platforms there are there's no possible people making money there are no high amounts of sales and there are no cash outs it's just a platform where people post content for free and that's gonna happen but you also feel like this is the blow that's definitely going to kill clubhouse 
Um, you feel like, you know, we've seen this happen plenty of times beforehand. Um, maybe not so aggressively as this. I think the most aggressive way we saw something really die off the back of stuff like this was when um, Tumblr basically banned, was it nudity or whatever is it? I think it was something like nudity or whatever. Tumblr got really... Um, kind of conservative and strict about the stuff that was posted on there which again negated the entire um base of people that are using it which are mostly angsty teenagers from around the world posting edgy things to get attention immediately when you change that you obviously kill the site and now you know tumblr is a flipping barren wasteland and the same thing can be said for only fans only fans was built off the back of sex workers without the sex workers there is no such thing as only fans the other people on there the entrepreneurs the ones that do the whole like flipping of the houses stuff they're still kind of i think building off the back of the sex workers um you know uh content that they place on there and the notoriety that that platform's given it and now with the change of services and terms and whatever it may be called it's just going to be the death nail really Really, if it was at the beginning or the end of it but again if you want investment and you value your company at a billion and you eventually do want to exit I, you can't really blame the founders for doing so because unfortunately in the current climate we're in at the moment the payment providers are the ones that are really the bosses the people that the amazon you know um web services all these places are the ones that basically dictate how and when people can conduct business but you know my heart does go out to the sex workers who are kind of unfairly being ditched to the one side but like i said before you should have had this in mind you should have thought this was going to happen sooner rather than later the good times were never going to last forever i don't think so um but you know you've made mo more money i think m they can't complain you've made more money than you could have ever imagined to have made people have bought houses they bought themselves teslas and stuff they've opened up businesses i I think if anything if you're able to have done that then fair play and if not these last few months are going to be a time to cash out even more and decide what you want to do in the future going forward i would imagine i would imagine